All right, and so for the third time today, this is our final Daily Race C, June 29, 2018, which is a Red Bull Junior one-make race at Tokyo Expressway East. Qualifying was good. I qualified P3, and um, my last race didn't go so well, but I made an interesting discovery while doing some practice, I suppose, with back markers. So I'm going to use that up front and see if we can pull this off. You're going to think I'm crazy for this. Believe me. With this car and this draft and the way this track works, it's going to work. How does he have a penalty already? Okay. Well, we're getting swallowed up at the start, so I got to adjust the fuel accordingly. Of course, we have one guy just lunging into... Wow. What's going on here? But yeah, you guys are think you guys might think I'm crazy for... Damn, dude, that's really argy-bargy. You guys might think I'm crazy for doing this, but... Believe me, I was experimenting with it earlier, and... The way that this track is set up with the... Compl with the um, Wow, that was really close. Lambo just checked up big time. But yeah, the way that the... Oh man, I can't even think right now. <laughs> the way that the technical section of the track works with this car is that you don't have to brake. And so if we're running in a draft while messing with the fuel mixture, we could possibly channel our inner Alexander Rossi and make it on fumes to the end. So yeah, maybe going at fuel mixture number six was a little bit crazy at the start, but now that the field is starting to spread out, we can slowly increase our fuel mixture. Only because the car up front in clean air is not going to be able to reach its top speed. Even in the sixth mixture, we could still hit the rev limiter. Although we have to be a little bit closer than that. So yes, please go by me, Lambo. Come on. Check this out. And we're still gaining speed, as you can tell. We're still in the mix. And now back to one. And of course, doing some some coasting in neutral. Back up to mixture number three. Go up to four. Not up by four. Because we can just take this corner flat out. But I just want to lift to save even more fuel. The Canadian driver next to me just is off the pace quite a bit. Looks like he's gaining speed again, which is fine. It allows me to catch his draft. I'm still lifting in the corners because. Feel safe, yo. Let's move down to two. And look at that. 9.3 laps remaining of fuel. I would be more than happy if someone can take the lead or take third place from me. Come on, guys. Get up here. I'm short shifting as well, so that way they can just pass me. Come on, get around me. Come on. Make the move. Dude, make the move. Come on. Don't be afraid. Look, I'm giving you the spot. Take it. Oh, okay. Maybe he's trying fuel strategy as well. I'm 
sharpshooter. Get up here. Yeah, good job, dude. There we go. Got back down to one. Those guys up front are actually being really aggressive with each other. Therefore, they're wasting time. While I'm back here saving fuel behind a guy who has a penalty. And making my numbers work. We have eight laps of fuel remaining and we, we're on our third lap right now with seven to go. Counting this time by. Although that fuel number is representative of our mixture. So if we go to one and we just start pushing, the number will drop, obviously. So we have to keep that in mind. Oh my god, we're severely closing the gap now. Increase it to one, so that way we have the most power. So we can catch a tow from one of these cars. And it looks like it's working. Yep, it's working. We're, we're on the tow. Gaining, gaining, gaining. Now all the way up to six. Now the Uruguayan behind us might be on the same strategy. I'm thinking he is only because he didn't want to overtake us. They're bunched up right here for this corner, so I'm going up to sixth. Ooh, we tapped the wall slightly. Which we got away with that, so that's good. Oh wow, they're not playing around up front, which of course we're just going to have to go for it. Put back down the one so we can set ourselves up for the straight. They're going wheel to wheel. Look at them banging doors. Well, fenders because open wheel cars don't have doors. But you get my point. I mean, go right ahead, gentlemen. I'm o I'm totally okay with that. As long as that allows me to make my make my numbers for fuel, I am totally fine with whatever you guys decide to do. It's like the closer I get to the cars, the leaner I crank up the fuel mixture. Ooh, 
Oof. I can start to feel the car bottom out quite a bit. Oh, wow! The Canadian driver on the wall, that was a uh, hex mine. Wasn't he the pulsator? Going to lift for this left hander. I want to distance myself between these guys in case they make an accident. I mean, we all know how street course racing is very unforgiving. Now I'm starting to suspect that Sharpshooter might be on the same strategy as us. Whoa, what's going on? I just had to check up there. Do not want any involvement in these shenanigans. So right now, as of this running, we have one and a half laps of extra fuel. Sharpshooter's making a pit entry. Orma Trajano might be on our strategy, which is fine. You know, we'll play nice for now, and then on the final lap, all gloves are off. I'll give him a slight bump. I'm not passing him. <laughs> Being easy. Nice and easy with the throttle. So we're close enough to just stay in fuel mixture number six. This is amazing. Forty-three percent remaining for our fuel. Now we're gonna have to increase the power.
wonder if he's teasing me by flashing the emergency lights on the car. The rest of the field is gone. Mac Mac wants to give us both of a challenge. But like I said, I'm starting to suspect that he's running the same strategy that Orma and I are running. Oh, he hit the wall. that resulted in, in another penalty for him. Just gonna stay behind. Don't want to push yet. serving his penalty. That could be the race over at this point. Unless Mac Mac is on their similar strategy, we'll let him go. Letting him go, that's fine. Yeah, he might be on the same strategy as us. Orma is a driver who's really aggressive. So I'm totally fine with letting him go, but you know what? We have two to go, and we have 3.6 laps remaining of fuel. We're still going to save on this lap, just to be sure, but I think we're going to make it to the end without stopping once. If we can force Mac Mac into a mistake, we will be set. The race is essentially in the bag. I think he wants me to take the lead. I mean, he left the door open. It, it felt like it. It just felt like he wanted me to take the lead there. But one thing is for sure. I would want to be leading by the time we exit the final corner. Only because I feel like it takes quite a while to get up to speed with the draft. So we're going to have to fight him on the final lap, for sure. We're good to the end. We're staying in one. Just backed out of it. Just give him some breathing room. Now is the time to fight. Here we go. He doesn't fall for the bait. Which is okay. Yep, him and I are on the same strategy. White flag is about to be out. One more lap to go. Now it's a fight for the end. Orma is out of it. He's nine seconds behind. We don't have to worry about fuel anymore. We're good to the end. Now we have to start being really aggressive with Mac Mac. Once we're clear, just cut to the bottom. Oh, he knows now. Now he knows it's game on. We have to basically outsmart him in this section here. Make sure he's at one. Yep, we're good. You want to make a move there, dude? I dare you. I dare you, buddy.
trying to break as much of the draft as possible without scuff, uh, scrubbing off too much speed. He's gaining on us for sure, but that's fine by me. Oh my god, that snap oversteer. We both nearly lost the car. Oh, he hit the wall. He hit the wall. Now is the time to pull away. He's got a draft. Oh, this is going to be a close finish. Are we going to have enough? We might have enough. Oh, I don't know. Yes! We went at Tokyo. We had to go for the block. We had to go for it. <laughs> Channeling our inner Alexander Rossi. Working the field into our advantage and fighting when we need to fight that was epic Whew, what a relief that was oh my god <laughs> yeah. I really wanted to win this race today and I did so in our first attempt, we went from 20th to 4th. I guess we channeled our inner Alexander Rossi there too, because he did that at the Indy 500. He went from 30, what, second to somewhere in the top 10, I believe? Maybe. Oh, he moved up a lot of position for sure. Second race wasn't that great, but we learned about the fuel strategy. And then, here, we save a bunch of fuel and we fight for it at the end. Our 31st career victory in sport mode and easily one of the most satisfying. I know I've said that a lot, but this could be hands down the most satisfying win I've ever had in this game. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was a ton of fun to do.